Welcome to the third and final part of the Sequatron Quick Setup demo. Now we've seen recording, playing back and looping. So what makes the Sequatron not just another software sequencer? Well, there are many demos of sequencers playing amazing rhythms and manipulating them in weird and wonderful ways. But when you try it yourself, you realise they don't show you the fiddly bits. Where did the rhythms come from? Suddenly you find it's not quite so easy getting your musical ideas into the computer. All your creativity, inspiration, improvisation, not to mention just plain good fun, are all competing with QWERTY keys, mouse clicks and navigating menus. So this is where the Sequatron fits in. It's not a replacement for conventional sequences, but a front-end tool. It avoids the distractions from switching between musical instrument and computer, so you never have to keep swapping your musician's hat for your computer operator's hat. Still not convinced? Well, we left part two with a microcore connected as both input and output, so try doing this with your software sequencer. Ditch the screen and keyboard, Ditch the mouse. Now try playing a multi-track recording on the fly. There's no screen, so just do it by feel. Now I'm still reaching round from behind the camera tripod, so can hardly see the keys either, but hopefully you get the idea. This three-part demo uses the free LE version with fewer commands, but the full list of commands which you can use directly from the music keyboard is scrolling on the screen now. More details are in the command reference guide on the website. OK, that's the end of the demo. There's an email address on the website if you need any more information. Thanks for watching.